you might find that architects and the construction industry use too many water pipes. So, big reason for that is how it's sized is often sized for the fixtures we used to have. The fixtures that we could purchase today and often required or voluntarily choose have a different flow, meaning the pipes don't need to be as big as we have designed them for. They can be designed for the project you're using. So what I would like you to encourage you to do is have that designed. You can say, I have two bathrooms, I have a kitchen, I have a laundry room. All those fixtures are added up. Then the diameter of the pipes chosen is dictated by the design needed. Also the proximity of those bathrooms and kitchens from the mechanical room and the laundry can be at a core. We can put them all together so the runs, the distance to each of those rooms is shortened. So if we have the rooms close, that means we're using less material. That means we're using less labor. Less material, less labor. Is it less cost? Yes. But it's also, when I turn my tap on, the water's there quicker. I'm wasting less. So lastly, that run of hot water, that run of cold water, I'm gonna ask you to insulate it. That insulation is very cheap, very easy to install, and it has an ROI of, that's it, it just paid for itself that quick. All these measures with water piping, they pay for themselves as quick as I could snap my fingers. So think about your project, design based on the flow, and bring everything together in the core. What that also means is now you have the rest of your real estate, your square footage and square meters to do other things with. Keep the plumbing together, that insulation, will keep your place quiet as well. Go read a book or tune into more Offsite Dirt and watch more.